My name is Brad, and I now got to tell you this is why I just did here art with my art teacher named Kelly. And so this is why I just did a character from in the movie from Thomas and the Magic Railroad. And from this here is this ride right here is called Diesel 10. And so you can see here is Diesel 10. I just made him all out of wood and I just painted him and this is how I have made it. And then you see his face is there and with the wheels here and there's the back and with the detail. And there's his arm and with Pinchy. And from this is what you could do here with Pinchy. Much as I could see here with his claw, Pinchy is from there and he said you could just open it and close it and his arm you can raise it lower it and spin it around from the whole 360 degrees and you can as like you can do something cool this diesel 10 like this is attacking ghosts what you can see here looks like he's chasing Thomas and lady from that to the viaduct and that diesel 10 just falls like off the edge of the viaduct and just splashed onto a barge of sludge and that's how, th how the movie end. And so you can see here of Diesel 10, the one problem you can see here is his face. It looks kind of more scary and it's kind of, of the eyes that are loose. These eyes are just not uh, to loose at all. I mean, I, I mean these eyes are loose and they're not attached at all. These were just, I just want to make them move. move. But I decided to let them just be the way if they are, so I don't want to have a hole. So that's the way how I made of Diesel 10. And for some reason, like you could do here of why of Diesel 10, instead of like this, you could do other kind of things with this claw with Pinchy. It can make them grab things with it. Like, you know, is that all you can see here? Here's a wrap of clay I got here, like key here. I can pretend like this is a pile of scrap metal he's picking up. He can just grab it and lift them up and you could this is what you do. You can load trucks and just that. You can just like put that and crushes them to pieces and then he loads them into the cars and that's what you think he does from the movie from in Thomas and Friends calling all engines. And so this is how the reason I just did here with Diesel 10. It took me very long and very hard how to make the motions of this engine. So I said, yeah, I wish I could make like, like the rest of the other characters from Thomas and the Magic Railroad. And as you can see here, it's much as more as realistic as how I made them. And so that is all. Thank you and for watching. Bye.